This is not a numbers pattern. This is not a small fish pattern. This is a big fish pattern. Right there. This is 100% the best way to catch these things all summer, man. Wow. Look at the belly on that one, man. And to do it with a spinning rod, wow, is that fun, huh? Check, check, check. Are all audio systems running and operating? We got cameras on, we got cameras on. Well, what is going on, guys? Today we are back with another video. It's hopefully gonna be another good video, I guess. Where have we been? Have not uploaded a lot of content in the month of July. Well, it's been a hectic amount of time on the road. A lot of fun, but a lot of driving and a lot of here, then over there, then over here. Just came back from an awesome Warrior Boats event on Lake of the Woods. Ton of fun, if I met you, um, it was great meeting you. Uh, super fun event, kind of a bunch of Warrior Boat owners, dealers, that kind of thing come up. Cool to see just kind of the tight-knit family which is Warrior Boat. So, had a ton of fun there. That was on Lake of the Woods, caught some fish up there. Didn't film too much up there, some stuff for the future. But uh, we're finally, after about a month on the road, back in my home state, Wisconsin. <laughs> And it feels good and today we're gonna sneak out for a couple hours in the middle of the day to showcase my absolute favorite midsummer big fish pattern one that you can lean on almost everywhere you're gonna go all the lakes you're gonna fish in the summer you can almost lean on this pattern and uh, we got all of a sudden a little bit of a breeze picking up but um, we're probably gonna we'll go into it in a little bit of detail but what we're gonna be doing is throwing some search baits for fish that are just out over the middle of nowhere and one thing you'll see happen in the middle of summer everywhere you're gonna go fish will generally or same fish fish go through the same migration everywhere they start on a shoreline they move to some secondary stuff and a lot of times in the middle of summer the bigger fish have moved out and spread out across the basin it doesn't mean they're in deep water it doesn't mean they're in 60 feet of water and 55 feet down but a lot of these fish will be in 30 40 50 60 80 feet of water but they'll be 15 to 20 22 feet down somewhere in there so we're gonna kind of get jump up on the bow and hunt these fish down very actively. These are the same fish that we used to have to troll, and uh, but now with something like Mega Live, we can actually cast for these same fish, and it's a ton of fun. All right. So basically, what we're gonna be doing is hunting these fish down with the search bait. Now, you guys probably watched some of the search baits I've done in the recent past, and it's been a lot of like casting on structure. This is a totally different style of fishing. This is where we're just getting out in the middle of the lake, and we're just gonna cruise with the trolling motor looking for suspended fish. Now, one of the keys to this is obviously this tool right here, the Hummingbird Mega Live. And we, if you get it, the middle of the lake kind of patterns can be kind of intimidating. It's like, where do you start? Where, how far do you go before you turn around, right? And we've done some great pieces for the Walleye Now app on where you find basin fish. Because basin fish aren't just everywhere out in the basin, right? There's generally some key kind of principles to follow on how you find a lot of these basin fish. So um, we'll go ahead and link the app down below. But to find that video, you just click on, you know, let's go fish at the bottom, click on summer, and then click on natural lake. And there'll be kind of a really good video right here on how how you find suspended midsummer walleyes, right? Because it's really not that complicated of a thing. But we're gonna strap a walleye on the search bait, start buzzing around, hopefully get you guys some good content on the forward-facing sonar, and hopefully key in on some of those big fish. This is not a numbers pattern. This is not a small fish pattern. This is a big fish pattern. Right there. Fish out. 
Is it gonna be a big walleye? Oh yeah, it is a real big walleye. Way up high in the water too, wow. That fish was so far up in the water, man. He was like 10 feet down. And it's a toad, man. And this is kind of what you can come to expect for a lot of these big time deep basin fish. He is barely hooked too. I mean, just barely hooked. We'll go ahead and scoop him up here. Wow, I wasn't even convinced that was a walleye when I saw him. <laughs> he is a stud, man. A absolute stud. Let's go ahead and grab you, girl. That is a long one. <laughs> for up here in northern Wisconsin, these little inland lakes. But like I said, this isn't necessarily a crazy numbers pattern. But it is a good pattern if you just want to target the biggest fish in the lake. And wow, man, <laughs> absolutely smoked the old search bait. Let's see if I can grab you here, bud. Wow, that is an impressive one for up here. You guys always want me to measure more of them. That is a 27 inch Northwoods walleye right there. Oh, and he is mean and angry. Look at that guy, man. That is a long Northwoods fish right there. What a stud. You know, if you were trolling, you probably would not have got that fish because you'd be so glued down to like 22, 23 feet where a lot of these marks are. And that fish was down about 10 feet. <laughs> there he goes. Wow, what a fun way to fish, man. Number one of the day is a giant 27 incher. Like we said, not a pattern where you're maybe gonna get, you know, 25 bites a day. But if you can just get three, four, five of those really big fish, <laughs> it makes for a fun little midday fishing outing. Right there. Feeling good. Feeling good. Oh no, the GoPro in the front wasn't going. Oh well, just sitting in 46 feet of water. Look at that fish. Oh yeah, man. We'll take them like that, huh? I mean, that is just summer walleye fishing to a T right there, my friends. <laughs> You know, sometimes you cover a lot of water between bites, but then all of a sudden you'll get in a little area where there's just kind of fish all over. Probably a 25 incher, I would say. Come here, bud. You know, in these little lakes, these are a lot of times your bigger fish right there. Oh yeah. We'll take them like that. Long, man. <laughs> these are those big fish. We'll get them popped off real quick here. I just kind of rolled up on that mark kind of real quick out of nowhere threw one cast at him kind of spun the boat a little goofy for a second and then there he was we'll get him on a board just because i know you guys like you know how big they are 24 and a half there we go man a little smaller than the last one but hey we'll take them on there like that huh those are some quality quality northwoods walleyes right there let's let them go man sharp shooting got to love it huh See you later, mama. Back for more. Not an eater fish type of pattern. Big fish type of pattern. Do you want to catch a bunch of eaters this time of year? Normally you bump up to like a weed edge, little rock hump or something like that, and a lot of those smaller fish will be there. A lot of these bigger fish, they're kind of king of the lake, right? They just kind of run the basin. All right, guys, so obviously the bait we're fishing today is the Kalen's Tungsten Search Bait. If you guys watch this channel, you know how powerful it is. Great summertime option, and for a lot of this open water stuff, you know, previously we'd troll crawler harnesses out here. So it's only fitting that you basically cast a crawler harness, which is what this search bait is, right? Um, it's a big heavy piece of tungsten with a spinner blade on it that obviously gets the bait done where it is. Now, a lot of times when I fish this like up shallow in late May and June, I'll just fish like a half crawler on a leech on there. Open water, I really like rigging a full crawler. So one tip I do is put a like stinger hook on here, because obviously that hook's pretty short 
short and we're fishing very pressured water and a lot of these fish just kind of come up and swat the bait almost and a lot of them don't really choke it so first thing i need is about a number eight treble get one with a really good barb on there because if it doesn't have a really good barb you're going to end up it's just going to keep falling out and then i'll take some 20 pound fluorocarbon and i'm just gonna oh we're dropping stuff i'm just gonna cut off you know a foot of this stuff here and obviously i'm just gonna go ahead and tie this on to the search bait now you don't want to tie it onto the swivel so where i like to tie it is right to this little loop right here hopefully you guys can see that right to where the shaft comes out back behind the spinner so now i obviously got this main line coming out back off that so it's not impeding the action or anything like that but i got this long line now i'll cut it just and i'm going to cut it just a little longer than i want that treble on there and i'm going to tie that treble on about the size of what a full night crawler is going to be here go ahead and trim the tag off that and you're going to be left with something that looks just like this right here now i've got this big kind of twirling chunk of crawler back there with that stinger hook for a lot of those fish that just come up and nip that bait right and you'll catch a lot of these fish on this bigger chunk of crawler on that stinger hook so that's one one of the reasons these search baits are so great is that you can tweak them do a lot of different things with them this is one that i like to do this time of year when i want that bigger presentation hanging up high over the base and when i'm casting at these fish right there wow dude did that one just crush it i just kind of popped out of the basin for a quick second there and just came into the first point <laughs> and there's that little pot of fish that just slid right up in there the key is just being around big basin areas when it's like this this is feeling real big man come on bud come on bud jeez that's spot locked down. And you'll see some of these bigger fish like bump into structure just occasionally, kind of on and off throughout the day. Look at that guy, man. Wow. So it's always worth kind of like if you got, if you're fishing basin in one kind of big area and there's like one big point, just keep touching into that point throughout the day. That is a real golden one. Look at that guy, man. Wow. Come here, girl. Come here come here there we go that is a quality fish right there and to do this on some of these smaller lakes up here in the north woods man i mean this is like you know a banner day for big fish easy to come out here and just catch a pile of like you know 15 inches every day look at that another super solid 25 and a half incher right there on the board i know you guys like when i measure a few but <laughs> we're having a good time man i mean these are studs for up here in the north country we'll see you later girl oh there she goes back down to the little basin area wow that is fun man that is as good as it gets and, you know we used to do a lot of trolling in these areas where we just get in them and just kind of pull the basin with planer boards and spinner rigs or cranks now that you're able to cast with something with like the mega live super fun obviously trolling catches fish too it's all kind of how like you like to fish if you're a fan of that kind of trolling you know kind of technically covering the basin style of fishing that might be the way to do it otherwise if you like holding the spinning rod in your hand and just kind of looking hunting those fish down that might be your preferred way but obviously a lot of fish in these basin areas this time of year that's a lot of what we're looking for right there out here you guys can probably see just that massive bait ball there and see how high it is up in the water where to go right there that's what the walleyes are chasing essentially and a lot of times you get in the middle of summer you get all these fish kind of pushed out all this bait kind of pushed out to the basin or a lot of it's out here so the fish don't really have to be around weeds or a rock pile or anything like that to eat a lot of this life's just out in no man's land right where we are right now catching a few of these fish
right there. Oh man, that's a good one. Man, I just saw that fish for a second. <laughs> Drifting away from him. Kind of made this quick pitch. Wow, dude. I absolutely love this style of fishing. And it's because this right here is the reward. Oh yeah, it's just a stud, man. It's just an absolute stud, too. Wow. I don't know if you guys caught that on the graph at all. Look at that fish, man. Wow, look at that guy. That is big. <laughs> oh, man. I like that a lot. So I want to get him kind of played out a little bit. I always hate drifting away from him. Look at the size of that guy, huh? That's the open water reward right there. Oh, we got him. <laughs> oh, man, I love it. You're just cruising, cruising, cruising. We're sitting in 40... Are we in 46, 45 feet right now? Just kind of off the edge of this big piece of st structure where they like to suspend. And you're just hunting for those marks. I actually missed a couple. Had a couple just kind of hit and then just didn't hook up, but that is a good one right there, man. Wow. There we go, guys. Look at that one, huh? He's another nice, long, fat one, man. <laughs> we are having some fun. See, look, since the wind picked up, a lot of this bait's kind of jammed together on some of these spots and it seems to have kind of concentrated a few of these fish out here see you later mama <laughs> that's a good one that is a good fish and for a, a northern small body of water where you know most time you're averaging fish that are 17 18 i think the smallest one we've caught today is like 23 or 24 and all the way up to 27 and a half i think has been what it was and uh, that is very rewarding. So another thing to kind of think about when you're fishing this way is that you don't need to see the bottom, right? Like we're in, what are, uh, depth are we in right now? We're in 49 feet of water. Not important that I can see the bottom, you know, turn this thing all the way up, essentially like this. This is not important. Number one, I'm gonna lose a lot of detail just by reading so deep. Number two, all my fish are suspended, right? All the fish I'm seeing and catching are like 25 down to that one of the first ones I caught must have been like eight or 10 feet down, right? So I really only need to set my graph about 30 feet down, right? Not important if I can see the bottom or not. I just want a lot of detail at what's up high to let me cast at it. So if you're gonna come out here and do kind of this very suspended bite, just put it 25, 30 feet down, and then I'll run mine all the way to 100 feet out. So I'm looking at 100 feet of water right now, and you could go a little farther, but that's gonna let you very quickly kind of scan everything around you, right? And see exactly you know where that fish is when you see it. Wow, that one was down deep, but shot up when he did see it. Spot lock. <laughs> oh man, sitting in 56 feet here. This is acting awfully big. Oh, I do it's yeah, just another stud, man. Another stud. This is 100% the best way to catch these things all summer man big fish too real big fish oh dude <laughs> i am having a ball today man i am having an absolute ball this is as fun as it gets for me look at the size of that one man wow 
just a beast. Hopefully you guys kind of got to watch him interact there on the graph a little too. When the bait got down him, I just kind of started playing with him a little bit and he was kind of acting semi-interested. And then the second he started gunning, that's when you want to kind of take off with the reel and kind of burst that thing with speed. Get a little bit of that predator prey kind of reaction going on. Can I get a player just real quick? Wow, dude, what a nice fish that is. Look at the belly on that one, man. And to do it with a spinning rod, wow, is that fun, huh? That is as good as it gets, man. I probably sound like a broken record, but man, that is a lot of fun. Got the earphones in because I'm on the phone a bunch today, but man, dude, I think we've caught you know, five or six fish in the last two hours, probably. All big, all just big and hearty. Like I said, we're sitting in 57 feet right here. Now, one thing that's important, every time you contact a fish over open water, because it's hard to look back at the map and say like, oh, that one came off the point, right? Because we're not getting these fish off structure for the most part, um, is to drop that waypoint. So then after you kind of, let's say, make a pass through you know one of these basin areas, you can come back and say, oh yeah, I saw three, or I saw eight of them in this area and caught three. And then you can kind of track where that school, that kind of roaming area of fish is. These big fish are a lot less of a school and they're a lot more of like following bait in an area that's suitable for them at that time, right? The wind could change that, anything could change that, but it's very helpful to have a lot of waypoints where you contact these fish over basin. All right, you guys, I think we are at the end of our time together today. Fun. That was how I would describe this afternoon. One of my favorite styles of fishing is get down here over the middle of the lake and just exclusively hunting big marks. It's a ton of fun. It's a, not as many, not as much action, you know, per se. You might go 30 minutes without even making a cast, but obviously the reward is very good. And I always like showcasing some different things and don't see a whole lot of stuff about, you know, just casting the open water base. And now you can come out here and do the same thing with a trolling presentation. Some days the trolling might be better than the casting if fish are very spread out, right? So it's kind of a two ways to fish, but obviously we did the whole casting thing today with the search bait. And I kind of added some tidbits to the Walleye Now app on breaking down open water. So if this is something that seems really foreign to you, make sure you check out that piece if it's something you want to try on the Walleye Now app, how to find open water suspended fish. Very good piece to kind of get you started in the right direction. So appreciate you guys watching this one. Videos m will come with more frequency in going forward. The last month and a half was insane travel. I've basically been home three or four days since the 4th of July. So um, I appreciate you guys hanging in there. I appreciate you guys watching the content. And I appreciate all of you guys making my job possible. It means a lot. So drop some comments down below. If you guys are not yet, please subscribe. We're going to fire up, get out of here, put the boat in the trailer, and go grill some dinner. But I appreciate you guys watching. If you're not yet, please subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. See you next time.